Hey folks, uh, here we're going to do our second part of uh, defining and evaluating the basic trig functions. Okay, so we talked a lot about um, the angles and stuff. Here, let's let's keep going with this, you guys. Okay, so what's the relationship between the unit circle and, uh, and radian measures and the angles also? Okay, so here we go. So in the last lesson, we reflected on these um, uh, on these. Uh, uh, triangles, this 45, 45, 90 triangle, then we reflected it over there, down there, and then back over there, and it gave us these angles, 145, 135, 225, and 315. Then we threw a 30, 60, 90 triangle in there, and, uh, and then we reflected it over there, down there, down there, and so it gave us these angles, 60, and then this is 60 up from 180, so this is 120, 240, and 300. And then we put the 30 over there and reflected it, reflected it, and reflected it. And that gave us this 30 degree angle, and it's 30 off the 180, so 150, 30 off the 180, so 210, 30 off the 360, so 300. It gave us these angles. So what that did is that let us um, uh, find the trig ratios of the 30, 45, and 60s to find the sine, cosines, and tangents of these angles on the outside. So if I wanted to find this, the sine, cosine, or tangent of 150, I just find the sine of 30. So it would be 1 half right there, okay? So the cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse, which would be negative root 3 over 2 over 1. And the tangent would be opposite over adjacent, okay? So uh, a reference angle of rotation is the acute angle formed by the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis. So if this is my terminal side for... 120 degrees right there, then the reference angle is this angle over here, the acute angle, the one that's less than 90, so it's this 60 degrees. Okay, if I'm talking about, say, this 330 degree angle, if we drew a 330 degree angle right here, its reference angle is 30. It's the acute angle off the x-axis right there, okay? So, um, uh, what that does is then we can find the trig functions of an angle by finding the trig functions of the reference angles off the x-axis. We just got to watch for the signs, okay? So um, we'll come back to that in just a second, okay? So you should memorize, if anything, remember what Sakatoa is. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. And then get these 30, 60, 90 triangles down, okay? So I always say to my students that 30 degrees had a root 3 baby, okay? So it's always root 3 times the shorter leg, and the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. So this is, everything revolves around the shorter leg. And then when you have an isosceles triangle, these two sides are equal. It's a 45-45 isosceles right triangle, and the hypotenuse is always root 2. So you can put any lengths on here. In the last lesson, we let the hypotenuse be 1, and we found the sine, cosine, and tangent. But you can put any lengths in here. I like nice small numbers. I'm going to let this be 1 and this be 1 right here. So if this is 1, this is 1 root 3, and this is 2. If this is 1, this is 1, and this is 1 root 2, we can still find the sine and cosine and tangents of those angles. So let's look at this 30 degree angle right here. This 30 degree angle, the sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The tangent is opposite over adjacent. Well, 1 over root 3 is root 3 over 3. Okay, and when we found the sine of 45, you can either do this one. So 1 over root 2, which is root 2 over 2. The cosine, again, is 1 over root 2, which is root 2 over 2, because you multiply it by root 2 over root 2. Okay, and then the tangent is opposite over adjacent, so it's 1 over 1 or 1, okay? So we can find those angles right there. So if all else fails, no Sakatoa, no um, uh, your 30, 60, 90s, and your 45, 45, 90s. And then in the last lesson, do you guys remember um, when we changed them to radians, okay? So so here's, uh, this is in degrees, but when it's in radians, look at the denominators. All the denominators go 6, 4, 3. 6, 4, 3, 6, 4, 3, uh, here, from, away from the x-axis, 6, 4, 3, okay? And this is just pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. These all, they all have pi's in the numerator, but this is one less than the denominator. So if that's 6, this is 5 pi. If that's 4, that's 3 pi. 3 gives us 2 pi. This is one more. See how these are all one more than their denominator? This is one less than twice. So double it is 6, one less is 5. Double is 8, one less. Double is 12, one less, okay? Um.
And then, and then um, uh, these angles right here, this pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3 is our 30, 45, and 60, okay? So this 30 off would be 150, this 45 off would be 135, and this 60 off would be 120. So we can put these, um, uh, these, these radian measures as our reference angles right here. So then I can say the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half, the, uh, the cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2, and the tangent of pi over 6 is root 3 over 3, and so on. So here's um, uh, the sine of this is this, the cosine of this is this, and so on. So these are our radian angles, and these are our, our degree angles. So on your calculators, you have two modes. You actually have three modes. The gradients we never, ever use. I don't even know why it's on the calculator, but we do use radians and or gradients, okay? So those are the angles and radians. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw that circle right there, okay? And then after that, we're going to go ahead and think. Now, we've kind of talked about this before, some of my classes. So all the functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, were all positive over here. If you found, if you kind of looked, only our sine functions were positive over here. Only the tangent functions were positive in this one. Only the cosine functions were positive in this one. So all sines, tangents, cosines. Here's a gimmick. All students take calculus. That helps me remember which sign is positive, okay? All right, so on a unit circle, our ordered pairs are always written as cosine, comma, sine. Just like x, comma, y is in alphabetical order, this is in alphabetical order. C comes before S in the alphabet, cosine, comma, sine. Sorry, I have a loud class next door, so it's in a very, very thin wall, so I apologize about that. So. All right, so, and then we'll discuss this in the, uh, uh, in the lesson two days from now. So the tangent ratio is sine over, over cosine, okay? So we'll know how to do cosine comma sine on our unit circle, and then our tangent ratio is to take the sine and divide it by cosine. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a couple of days. Anyway, so draw the, this circle right here. This should take up a big piece of paper, at least half of a piece of paper. Okay, sorry about the noise right there, you guys. There's a wall right here, too. I don't know if you can hear that noise. Okay, since it's a unit circle, the radius is 1. So this is 1, 0. We go over 1, up 0. This is over 0, up 1. This is negative 1, uh, up 0. This is um, over 0, down 1. So there's the ordered pairs right there. Okay, recall, cosine comes first, sine comes second. So this is cosine, this is sine, this is cosine, this is sine, this is cosine, this is sine, this is cosine, this is sine. Okay, so this is zero degrees. The cosine of zero is one. The sine of zero is zero. The cosine of 90 is zero. The cosine of, um, or the sine of 90 is one. Cosine of 180, sine of 180. This is 270 down here, so the cosine of 270 and the sine of 270 right there, okay? All right, so now let's put in the angles in both degrees and radians. Okay, so remember, this is 30, 45, 60. These are all 30, 45, 60s. Okay, so here's 0 degrees, 90, 180, and 270. We'll do the radians in just a second. Okay, so let's just go 30 off of that. So I'll go 30 this way, so that's 150. 45 this way, that's uh, 135, and then 60 this way is going to get me 120 up there, okay? Let's go 30 this way, so 180 plus 30 is 210, 180 plus 45 is 225, 180 plus 60 is 240, okay? Let's go, this is 360, so 360 minus 30 is 330, 360 minus 45 is 315, 360 minus 60 is 300 right there, okay? So there it is all going around there, okay? Now remember, um, uh, in radians, you guys, this is 0, this is pi. This would be all the way around is 2 pi. So this is pi over 2, this is 3 pi over 2. We talked about that, okay? And then as we go away from the denominators, it goes 6, 4, 3. See that? 6, 4, 3. 6, 4, 3. 6, 4, 3. This, as we go away, 6, 4, 3. 
Okay, and then here the numerators are just pi's on top. So pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. Okay, now these have pi's also, but the number that goes with it is 1 less. So this would be, that's a 3, this is 2 pi. That's a 4, this is 3 pi. That's going to be a 5 pi right there, okay? This is 1 more. So 7 pi, 5 pi, and 4 pi, okay? This is 1 less than twice. So double that is 6, so this is 1 less 5. Double that is 8, so that's 7. Double that is 12, 1 less is 11, 11 pi's, okay? Or they are in radians right there, okay? Now write the, the cosine and sine of each angle as ordered pairs. Okay, so here you guys, and if you forget, then just draw a generic 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90, and just go through it, okay? The sine of 30 is 1 half. The cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2, and so on, okay? And then remember, 30 represents pi over 6, 45 represents pi over 4, 60 represents pi over 3. So when we fill all of those in, there's our sine, there's our um, uh, the sine of 30s, there's our sine, cosine, and tangents of 60s, and there they are of the 45s, okay? All right, so um, let's just go ahead and put them in, okay? So um, uh, let's see, so this goes, um, uh, okay. So and then remember, also, you guys, all students take calculus. So everything's positive, just sine is positive, just tangent's positive, and just cosine is positive, okay? So here we go. So um, the, the cosine of 30 is uh, root 3 over 2. Look, the cosine of 30 the cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2. The sine of 30 is 1 half. The cosine of 60 is 1 half. The sine of 60. We always write it in the terms of cosine first, sine second. And then there's the tangent ratios. Okay, we don't need those for this. They want us just to do the sine, cosines, and tangent, or sine, cosine and sine. So this is cosine, sine, cosine, sine. So the cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. I don't want a decimal answer unless they say use a calculator. Okay, the cosine of 30 degrees is this, and so the, uh, the cosine of pi over 6 radians is also this. The sine of 30 is a half, the sine of pi over 6 radians is also a half. Okay, now these are going to be the same as these right here, except the sine is positive, everything else is negative. So these cosine ones are going to be negative. So look, they're the same numbers except the cosine's negative. Okay, so down here, only tangent's positive. So both sine and cosine are negative. They're the same numbers, you guys. As we go away from the x-axis, um, they're the same numbers because this is a 30-degree angle. This is a 30-degree angle. So my cosines of 30 are going to match up, and my sines of 30 are going to match up. But in this quadrant, only tangent's positive. In this quadrant, only cosine's positive. All students take calculus, okay? So this is going to be root 3 over 2, comma, negative a half, okay? So all the signs are negative down here. All right, there are some gimmicks to remember this, you guys. So radian denominators go 6, 4, 3, okay? And then, and then the numerators of those guys go, this is pi, this is uh, one less pi, this is one more pi, this is one less than twice pi. That's what the radian measures go. And then check this out, you guys. That Oh, and the angles are always written as cosine, comma, sine. All of these are written cosine, sine. C comes before S in the alphabet. Here's the gimmick to remember these blue numbers on the outside right here, okay? Uh, the numerators uh, of the angles go, look, they go 3, 2, 1, and then this goes 1, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. They're just square roots of them. Square root of 3, square root of 2, square root of 1 is just 1. And everything's over 2. Okay, this is cosine, comma, sine. So if it said find the tangent, tangent would be uh, sine divided by cosine. Okay, it's the sine ratio over the cosine ratio. Okay, all right, don't forget that. Sine is, uh, or tangent is sine over cosine. We'll talk more about that in a couple of days. All right, you guys, your assignment is you're going to be filling in your own unit circle. Hope that makes sense. Take care.